Okay, everybody, uh, I hope you enjoyed the break. Um, our next talk this afternoon is going to be given by Professor Wu Kaiming from uh, the Wuhan, Wuhan University of Science and Technology, and he'll be talking about magnetic field induced precipitation. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, express my sincere thanks to Professor Hani Badisha to invite me to attend this uh, great event. Uh, my talk is on the magnetic field induced precipitation behaviors of annoying harbors. The first two authors, Ho Ninping and Li, are my PhD graduate students. I'm from Wuhan University of Science and Technology. Wuhan is a, is a, a, a steel research center uh, <clears throat> in China. This work was financially supported by the State Ministry of K Education of China. Uh, Professor Masato Enomoto at Ibanaki University of Japan provide us a noise specimens for this work. As we know, like chemical composition and temperature, external magnetic field is an important factor to influence phase transformations. In recent years, many works have been done on the effect of high magnetic field on phase transformations such as multi-sided transformation, Bainite transformation, ferrite transformation, and Pornite transformation. Because the magnet field reduces uh, uh, free energy and increases driving force and shifts the equilibrium to higher temperature. A noise harbor is an important phase in the high strength low energy steels, especially in Rib resistant steels and heat resistant steels. This fixtures <coughs> the Tomamark equipment. The reduced activation steels is used for construction of magnetic confinement carbonate in the Tomamark. <coughs> this carbonate is used for long term exposure to high magnetic field and higher temperature. So the bad understanding of annoying hybrid precipitation behaviors uh, is useful for the understanding and development of heat resistant steels. In this work, we have two annoys. One is molybdenum annoy, and another is chromium molybdenum annoy. For this annoy, we have two heat treatments. One is from austenite to bainite transformation, and another one is martin citric tamanin. For the chromium molybdenum annoy, we just uh, for one kit treatment for martin citric tamanin. <clears throat> this slide shows the equipment for magnetic heat treatment. The specimen is here. The heart rate direction of specimen is parallel to the magnet field directions. The change is tough Tesla in all the uh, experiment. What happens if the or high magnet field is applied during the phase transformation from austenite to bainite, that is or degenerate ferrite at an intimate temperature? From this image we can see that at all new stage Cementite and M3 carbides is precipitated in the conventional kit treatment. However, when a high magnet field is applied, all M6C is precipitated in the specimen. With the increase of the isosomal coating time, we, in the conventional kit treatment, M6C is only precipitated at a long holding time, but in the high magnet, magnet field, at a short holding time, M60 is promoted. It is clear that M60 is precipitated both at all and the later stage of, of this heat treatment. Once more for the change, we can see these two Im images. From these two images, we do not see any obvious change by the magnet field. We also calculated the aspect ratio considering the demagnetization factor 
of annoyed carbides with the presence and absence of high magnetic field. Results show that the aspect ratio of annoyed carbides equals approximately one. That is to say, the high magnetic field has no obvious change for the annoyed carbide morphology. Regarding the concentration of annoyed carbides, in the case of conventional heat treatment, we can see that the concentration of ion atoms remains on low level. When the high magnetic field is applied, we can see the ion concentration is remarkably increased compared to the conventional uh, heat treatment and in the literature. We do also uh, to keep treatment for a uh, multistick terminal for this annoy. Uh, the left image shows the precipitation without the presence of high magnetic field. When a high magnetic field is applied, we see new semtite is formed in the specimen. Fe532 is, is precipitated in the specimen. That is to say, the high magnetic field promoted the Fe5C2 in the presence of high magnetic field. When we transfer the terminal temperature to our intermediate temperature, we also find that the M6C is precipitated in the long and uh, short holding times. These two TM images further prove that the M60 is actually precipitated in the sense of high magnetic field. This step shows the M60 carbide is precipitated in the presence of high magnetic field. But with the conventional magnetic heat treatment, we just do see M2C and M3C is precipitated in the specimen. So it is found that the M60 is promoted by the high magnetic field. Regarding the concentration, we can see that for M2C and M3C, we can, did not see any obvious change for these two kinds of carbides. But for M60 annoyed carbides, the ion concentration is remarkably increased in the presence of high magnetic field. If we shift the terminal temperature to seven degrees, uh, 700 degrees C, we can see that M2C, M3C, and M6C are all precipitated in the specimens, both with the presence and absence of high magnetic field. So it is clear that high magnetic field has no obvious influence on annoyed carbide precipitation during higher temperature terminal. For the second annoy, we just do uh, the Martin City terminal at uh, different temperatures. This table shows the summary of the kit treatment at short and long holding time. When the magnetic field is not applied at short and long holding time, we just do see M2C and M3C is precipitated in the specimen. However, when a high magnetic field is applied, we, we can see that M7C3 and M23C6 are promoted in this specimen. So it, is, it can be seen that these two kinds of annoyed harbor is promoted by the high magnetic field. This slide shows the morphology change and also the concentration change by the magnetic field. We calculate the theoretical, uh, uh, theoretical uh, concentration of different uh, metallic uh, atoms. Compared with the calculation results, we can see that the concentration of ion atoms is remarkably increased 
by the presence of high magnetic field. The calculated, calculated results on the morphology is well in agreement with the observed results. When the specimen uh, transformed to a low and higher temperature terminating, what happens? From this table, we can see that for at a short and long cooling time, without the presence of high magnetic field, M2C, M3C, and M7C3 is precipitated in, in this specimen. However, when a high magnetic field is applied, M23C6 are all precipitated at late and long, hold, long holding time. So we can find that the M23C6 is promoted by the high magnetic field. However, when we transfer to a higher temperature terminal, the same type of anoic carbides are precipitated in both specimens, both with the absence and presence of high magnetic field. So we can see that anoic carbides do not, do not be influenced by the high magnetic field at higher temperature terminal. Why high magnetic field change the precip precipitation sequence of specific anoic carbides and the concentration of ion and other uh, metallic atoms concentration? We use the Gibbs free energy to describe this phenomenon. In the condition of high magnetic field, we have two items for the Gibbs free energy. Uh, the first item is the chemical free energy, and the second item is the magnetic free energy. How to determine the second item, that is the magnetic free energy? We use the with molecular field theory to describe the phase transformation of, of anoic carbides. B is the internal strength, and B0 is the applied field strength and nafta is more than constant, and M is magnet magnetization. The magnetization can be is expressed by this equation, and Bj is the Boolean function, and nafta can be obtained by this equation. Combining these equations, we can get the relationship of magnetization with temperature. This slide shows the calculated results. This, this, this figure shows the calculated results on the MD hovers of different anoic carbides. This figure shows the magnetic field energy change when this anoic transport at a intermediate temperature. We can see that the M60 is the has the highest magnetic free energy. So it was promoted uh, by the magnetic field. S sorry, it's not deep here. For the different same ties, we also calculate the magnetic moment and magnetic free energy, uh, free energy change. The highest magnetic free energy change is for Fe uh, 5C2, so the same type uh, Fe5C2 was promoted at, at low temperature terminal. When transferred to a uh, higher uh, temperature or uh, intermediate temperature, the calculated magnetic free energy for, M, uh, for M60 is the most uh, remarkable. So at intermediate temperature, the precipitation of M60 is promoted by the high magnetic field. Regarding the concentration, we also calculate magnetic free energy for iron atoms and manipulating atoms. The magnetic free energy change for iron atoms is much larger than the manipulating atoms. 
So the concentration of ion atoms uh, is, must, is much larger than the molybdenum concentration in the presence of high magnetic field. For the chromine and molybdenum alloy, we have uh, similar results. In this figure, we can see that the magnetic free energy change for M7 C3 and M23 C6 has the largest uh, magnetic free energy compared with other alloy uh, carbides. So it is, it is can be, uh, yeah, we can see that the alloy carbides of M23 C6 and M7 C3 C3 is promoted by the high magnet field. Let's go to conclusions. The effect of high magnet field on, on the annoying hardware precipitation behaviors is as follows. The precipitation sequence of specific annoying hardware is changed by the high magnet field. The content of substitution shown in atoms of iron is increased in the presence of high magnet field. We do not see visible influence on the annoying harbide morphology. The above three aspects are attributed to the magnetic field energy change with the presence of high magnet field. Thank you for kind of attention. Thank you very much. Um, are there any questions at all? Uh, Professor Wu, uh, I'm very yes. interested in your talk. And for the, the third point of your conclusion, uh, no visible influence on the alloy carbide morphology. I'm considered about, uh, because when we temper mountains, uh, we always have three variants yes. of carbide. And for, for temper BMI, maybe uh, also we can have uh, two uh, variants. In your case, uh, under the magnetic field, uh, we, we always, always expect that this uh, reduce the variance. And what is your result? Uh, can, can, you show, can, can you tell me uh, your result exactly? Uh, <clears throat> in, uh, in the experiment results of uh, different uh, uh, Annoys one is molybdenum and another is called chromium molybdenum annoy. The morphology we do not see uh, uh, the change. Uh, we have noticed the uh, the magnetic field change. Uh, the energy for for the uh, we ha we consider the de uh, demagnetization factor. Uh, this figure is much lower than that the uh, uh, magnetic field energy. So I think uh, this change is much small compared with the uh, uh, concentration and also uh, the magnetic field energy change by a high magnetic field. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, but maybe we, we have different results. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Any further questions? Thank you. It's a very impressive talk. Uh, yesterday, uh, we listened to Dr. Chin and uh, who's doing this uh, electrical field. And uh, today I saw you doing magnetic field. And for his, it's very easy to apply. And uh, what about if you want to e apply this magnetic field in uh, industrial scale production? Would that be an easy thing to do? Or can you comment on that? Uh, OK. Uh, <clears throat> it's a very good question. We do heat treatment uh, in different conditions for 
uh, this for the same alloy, we took it treatment for parts to magnetic field. Uh, at Huatong University of Science Technology, we did not see any change uh, uh, if the uh, pulsed magnet field is applied or not. So the pulsed magnet field, uh, according to our experimental results, no uh, influence on on the uh, on the microstructure and 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 the noise habitat. Uh, for the pulsed uh, uh, electro pulsing, we we did some experiment for. Uh, different microstructure, uh, for example, uh, pornite plus uh, ferrite, we uh, observe the same uh, phenomenon like uh, Dr. Chin. Uh, but from industrial, uh, uh, from the view of industrial communication, the electrical pulsing is more practical for magnet magnetic uh, heat treatment because for uh, magnetic heat treatment. We can just do very small specimen, but for electro pulsing, uh, especially for uh, for the, for steel wire, it can be uh, conducted on our industry scale. So, for the uh, from the point from the view of point for industrial communication, uh, high magnet field has a long way to go. I think. Um, thank you. Uh, so, so I wanted to ask, um, so the magnetic field uh, increases the stability of the precipitate phase. Um, does that also reduce, is, is the idea that that might reduce its coarsening resistance as well and creep, creep life or something like that? Okay, thank you for your question. Uh, for the coarsening of anoic carbides, we'd like to uh, to do some research, but at the present stage, we do not uh, to do uh, this kind of research uh, in the near future. Uh, we'll do uh, the uh, research uh, on the uh, condition of high magnetic field. Uh, I think uh, the coarsening of anoic carbide, uh, uh, especially some kinds of anoic carbide, should influence uh, on, on the coarsening. Have we got any internet questions at all? Okay. Um, any? Hi, uh, Professor. For, oh, so uh, for those M6C uh, and M23C, do you have any further information? For example, in M23, it's, uh, how, what amount of iron there, or what amount of moly there? Oh, okay. Yeah, they added together forms, yeah, M23, but yeah. inside. <clears throat> we uh, compare the two conditions. Uh, for the first condition, we, we do not, uh, the counterpart f uh, of M60 uh, precip precipitation without the uh, magnetic field. So, we get the data from the literature. But <clears throat> for the M23C6, uh, we calculated the concentration uh, in, the, in this anoic harvest. We also get the experimental uh, results. Compared to these two data, we can see that the higher content concentration is much higher than the uh, equilibrium concentration uh, in this in this habit, the molybdenum uh, the molybdenum habit is decreased because uh, the increase of iron carbon content increase in the semi alloy habit. Yeah. Uh, for the molybdenum alloy, we also, uh, for, the, for these two kinds of 
and no harvest. We have this different conditions without and with the sense of high magnetic field. So we can, we can directly compare the uh, concentration. But for M60, we, didn't, we have no uh, the counterpart heat treatment because it's not precipitated without any sense of, of high magnetic field. So we get the data from the literatures. The concentration of iron is at this level, but in the high magnetic field is increased remarkably. Okay, so wait, I saw you calculate a free energy of this, uh, uh, this phase. So yes. You have M23 copper, but now this inside M23, you have more iron than the normal M23. Yes. In that case, you need those uh, magnetic, uh, magnetic moments. Yes. This new one. Do you have those data? Or? Uh, in the <coughs> we show the same type. It's very soon we can uh, we we cannot see the this vehicle. Okay. We calculate the magnetic moment for uh, different kinds of same type. The uh, same type Fe five C two has the highest magnetic moment. Uh, for M60 and M23C6, we also calculated the magnetic moment of uh, these two kinds uh, uh, kind of uh, carbides. The magnetic moment uh, for these two kinds of annoy carbide is much higher than that M2C and, M and M3C. The M M7C3 is also has a higher magnetic moment. But compared with M60 and M23C6, it's a little bit no. So we calculate make the moment for uh, same tide and all annoy harbides. And then we, we can get the magnetic free energy. Thank you. Okay. We've probably got time for one more question. So can I? Does it, affect the, does it affect the orientation relationship as well? Pardon? Does the magnetic field affect the orientation relationship between the precipitate phase and the matrix phase? OK. Uh, we try to find the <coughs> magnetic field on, uh, on the orientation or texture. But in the present uh, work, we do not find obvious change in the texture. And also, we do not uh, see any change in the orientation change. Okay, um, I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there, so if you can ask questions at the end. So thank you again, Professor. Thank you very much.